together with the Babinski sign, the inverted supinator sign and the Tromner sign, the presence of clonus is a highly specific sign that might indicate the presence of degenerative cervical myelopathy. This was shown by the systematic review of Jiang et al. in 2023, which we covered in another video. Download the free PhysioTutors app now and become the best clinician you can be. Degenerative cervical myelopathy is a progressive cervical spine disorder that leads to spinal cord dysfunction. It is a degenerative condition and develops over time, which is why we see it mostly in older adults. The early signs may remain unrecognized and can include dissociated sensimotor deficits and subtle gait disturbances. This is one of the reasons for the delay in diagnosis or the condition being missed. However, a timely diagnosis is needed because degenerative cervical myelopathy can lead to detrimental outcomes such as gait instability, tetraparesis and incontinence. The weighted average for the clonus sign showed a pooled specificity of 99% in the systematic review by Jiang et al. in 2023. If it is present, you should thus refer the patient for further specialized neurological examination. Let's take a look at what this test looks like. To conduct the test, the patient can be in a sitting or supine lying position. The knee is slightly bent and the examiner holds the foot of the patient. First, the ankle is gently moved into slight plantar flexion, followed by a brisk dorsiflexion of the foot. Normally, this does not produce any movement. However, clonus is present when the foot of the patient produces several involuntary and rhythmic muscle contractions. This occurs due to disruption of the upper motor neurons. We covered this video as a part of our degenerative cervical myelopathy video series. However, the presence of clonus does not exclusively mean that the condition is present, since, since clonus results from an interruption of the upper motor neuron fibers. Many more conditions than degenerative cervical myelopathy, such as stroke, multiple sclerosis, can cause this to happen. This video, however, can be useful in physiotherapy practice since the presence of this sign should lead to the referral of the patient to further investigation by a neurologist. All right, this was it for this video. You can find more tests in our PhysioTutors app and you can watch more content on our website, on YouTube or on the app itself. I hope you learned something today and enjoyed this video. I'll see you in another one.